Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to factory reset your Toshiba Tech or laptop to a factory setting state. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to begin by opening up the start menu just by left clicking on the start menu button one time. And you want to type in reset into the start menu. Best manage should come back with reset this PC right above system settings. You want to left click on that one time to open up the settings window here. Once the settings screen has opened on the right side underneath recovery, reset this PC. If your PC isn't running well, resetting it might help. This lets you choose to keep your files or remove them and then reinstalls Windows. Left click on this get started button. Now we have two options, either keep your files or remove everything. If you do select keep my files, it's still going to remove apps and settings and I would highly suggest that you do back up any important files or documents to an external media source because you never know with how these processes work. I would highly suggest you do create a backup in both scenarios, but I figured even if it says keep my files, don't assume it's going to keep your files or at least what the ones that you're thinking it's going to keep. And the second option, which will be to remove everything, which will remove all of your personal files, apps, and settings. Because we're going to be doing a factory reset for this tutorial demonstration, we're going to select the second option. And we're going to have a couple prompts we're going to have to go through in this tutorial. So just hang in there, be patient, and then once we get rolling, it should be a pretty automated process at a certain point. So it's going to ask if we want to clean the drives too. If you're going to be holding on to your computer, I would just say that the first option, which will be also quicker, just removing your files will be sufficient. Second option, to remove your files and clean the drive, which will take longer, but if you're going to be donating it or giving it to somebody else, I think the second option would probably be more appropriate. But for most people, the first option will, will suffice, so that's what I'm going to select. And we are going to have one final confirmation screen once we get past this point that we are going to have to confirm that resetting will remove all the personal files and user accounts on this PC, all apps and programs, as well as any changes made to settings. This will take a while and your PC will restart. Left click on this reset button right here to begin this process. It will take some time. Please be patient. Once we get back to some screens or options that require some narration, I will jump back in on the recording, at least on my narration part. But I hope you guys got to this point okay. Just sit back, relax, let it run, and once we get to something new or exciting, I will be back.
Okay, so at this point you're going to enter in some information. You're going to enter your country, preferred language, keyboard layout, and what time zone you're in. And then once you've checked all of that, you're going to select Next. It'll begin applying these settings. You're going to have to accept the end user license agreement. You can use Express settings to instantly get back and speed up the process a little bit. Or you can click on Customize right here. It should be the middle button and you can customize what you're exactly installing when you're resetting Windows 10. So if you want to disable sending input data to Microsoft, you can deselect that by clicking inside of these horizontal boxes. And you can go through and check them out on your own, but I'm going to keep most of them default how they are. And I'm going to select Next here. I'm going to select Next again. Again. And you guys are more than welcome to go check through and see exactly what you are agreeing to. I'm just trying to speed this video up a little bit. Okay, so at this point you have the option to enter in your Microsoft account credentials if you were previously using a Microsoft account to use your account. You could also create a new Microsoft account or you could skip this step and create a local account on your computer, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to do a quick little example for you guys. I am not going to enable Cortana, so I'm going to select not now. And there we go. We can see we are logging into Windows. And it should be a fresh install of Windows we are logging into right now. Okay, so we actually have an update waiting, but I'm not going to select that, so I'm going to do not now, bottom left. Hi everybody, I'm back. So our Toshiba Tecra laptop should have been restored to factory settings at this time. So feel free to put any programs back on your computer that were removed during the process, and you should be good to go. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.